you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and keep an eye out for our installation video on this bad boy. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty cool. Off grid engineering cannot be held liable for the faulty installation of products performed by the buyer. <laughs> you definitely know what we're doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Chuck from Brady Adventures, and today I have Forrest with me, and we are unboxing an off-grid engineering 5th uh, Gen 4Runner dual battery um, setup. You've probably seen a couple of our other videos um, looking at the different types of dual battery switches that you systems that you might want to use and different types of batteries you might want to use. And so this system uses some of the components uh, that we thought were the best. Um, and the 4Runner has some, the 5th Gen 4Runner has some unique challenges in setting up a dual battery system and this kit addresses those. It's brand new, um, it's one of the first built kits. Um, we're a little delayed in getting this video done because Forrest and I both had shoulder surgery uh, and we are not really able to lift a whole lot yet so we're at least getting this unboxed and as soon as we're uh, in full operational condition uh, then we'll be getting batteries and, and putting this whole thing in. Uh, so keep an eye out for that in the next video. So let's, we already got it cut open here. We're going to crank this open. And the very first thing that I notice on the top here is this really sweet <laughs> off-grid engineering koozie. So go ahead and put my cold frosty beverage in here. Oh man, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. What else we got here? Uh, okay, we got a little bit of an instruction sheet. All right, let's start to pull some things out here. So this kit includes all the wiring you need and bracket. So let's just pull all this out and get this box out of the way and then we'll, and we'll talk about it. These are the aluminum uh, bracket battery trays and the first thing I'm gonna, that's uh, 50, 50, 5052 aluminum. The first thing I'm noticing is these are really, really stout. And since they're aluminum, they're not gonna corrode and they're quite a bit lighter than they would be if they were steel. And you can see this has the blue C, which was MLACR switch mounted on it already. And, and this was the switch that, that we recommend and we are gonna use for our projects here. The blue C, and I'm really glad that Chuck did that first video on which one you want to get. Um, yeah, because you look at this off-grid kit, like some of those other kits, the, the relays are not as stout or as weatherproof as this guy is. Um, all of these wires have really nice abrasion-resistant covering. Yeah, they're looking really good, and the, the connectors look like they're done really really well everything zip tied covered shrink wrapped yeah and this looks like you know professionally done stuff so definitely like the looks of that cables are pre-terminated with tan copper lugs that are properly crimped cables then covered uh -huh. in abrasion resistant braided wrap and has 3m adhesive uh heat uh Heat shrink. So that's important to note, right? Properly crimped, and, and, and we're not going to pull this off, but you can tell that this stuff is crimped. Crimp, having the wires crimped properly is the best way to do it. Some people will solder stuff, and some people will, um, you know, poorly crimp things. But a good crimp job, especially on wire and connectors, this heavy duty um, is something you probably need a hydraulic crimper to get it right. Um, and, and these look like they're done right. So that's. Yep. I like the 3M. That means it's going to hold stuff. up. Plus, yeah, yeah you got yeah. the high quality name brand. You know, this is not cheap stuff. This is really thick. Uh, nice uh, stuff. This also comes with uh, full color instructions, which we did not get because we ordered this kit early. So those are on the way for us. Uh, basically, I think the only thing you really need that's that's maybe not a no-brainer is just making sure that you have these wires routed under the hood for the length and everything because all of this stuff is cut to length ready to go um, this is the in cab switch so you can manually control this you can control the switch here uh, with this guy by pushing and rotating right or you can control it here in your cab so this is something you run back to your cab so this is the the driver side uh, battery tray replacement uh, for the for the main battery and then this is your secondary battery plate 
And one of the really cool things about this kit is off-grid engineering logo, which is actually a pretty cool logo, is machined into these brackets. So these are going to sit on top of your battery and it just looks pretty sweet. Um, so that's that comes on both of them. So let's see what else we got here. We got a bag of bag of goodies. We got a bunch of zip ties. So these are 200 amp uh, copper busman rated marine rated fuses. Um, so these are going to keep your setup safe in case you you get a, a, a wire that goes bad or something that goes bad. And actually, this one I said 200 amp, but it says 300 amp on the side. That's probably 300 too. So these are these are pretty stout. Um, you also get these mil spec mil spec uh, battery terminals. So those are going to go on your auxiliary battery to hook all this stuff up. So those are those are pretty nice. But these brackets, um, you know, this is fabricated specifically for this purpose, um, and these are really really nice. Um, this is really the the heart of the system, and and these these guys generally range from two two fifty. 50 bucks or so so that's a huge part of the system so um, you're really paying for some uh, really nicely engineered things everything cut to fit so it's gonna um, um, you'll see once we do our insulation this all should wire up nice and clean um, what do you think and anything bolt else? straight in and bolt straight in no, and we're ready no to go. modifications on the interior of the engine bay oh that's that's a great point so no modifications and a lot of the systems that you look at require some Cutting, fairly yeah, extensive right, right. modifications so yeah like um, Forrest and I both like we have these vehicles generally we're probably not going to return them to stock but it's nice to know that you can do it and nice to know you're not compromising something um, in your vehicle um, that might completely void a warranty might void a warranty on a new vehicle or might cause you some down the road problem um, since they're designed to, to work a particular way um, yeah, so this is, I think this looks like a really, really nice kit. Everything looks well, really well done. Um, everything's nice and protected. Um, installation, I think, is going to go pretty smooth. Um, well, the only thing I will the, add is that this is designed to have the Odyssey PC1400 Group 35 batteries, which I just ordered last night. Right. So the so if you if you're looking at our other video, we basically, you know, in one video we were looking through the different switch types and systems that you might want to use, and and we recommended this guy because of how it works. Um, it's all automated. It's it's marine grade. You know, you can get it wet. It, it, it's going to be good to go. Um, and then we also in the battery selection video we went through all the different types of batteries you might get for a system and matching your batteries. So the we. Pretty much the Odysseys were the best bang for the buck across the board. So this is going to hold uh, two Group 35 1400s, um, pretty sweet batteries. So that's going to be a really nice setup. Um, this is the first modification that we're doing on his vehicle. The reason we're doing this first is because we wanted to get a fridge in the back of his, in the back of his truck. And, and some other electrical accessories. So we wanted to have this in there so that he isn't left stranded um, running his stuff off of his stock battery. So a uh, single battery system. So this is gonna be the, kind of the first step and everything's gonna grow on top of, of this guy. So, all right. Oh yeah, go ahead and knock him out. Make, no, do the eight last. It was actually a pretty, pretty nice shot there, Bubba. All right, man. I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to get this sucker stuck in. At offgrid4x4.com. All right. I, I, I think you know one of the big things is these guys. From your experience with them, they've been really helpful and all about like make sure any kind of issues you get back to us, and that's really reassuring when you're buying something. Uh, that where you're dropping this kind of money on something. So. Yeah, on, get that chin down. There you go. Nice job. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and keep an eye out for our installation video on this bad boy. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty cool. See you guys.